Hello, this is our Ian at Improved Drawing. Today I want to talk to you about these pencils here. These are Prismacolor Premium Quality Soft Core Pencils. And what I'm going to show you today is how to use these pencils and how to sharpen them correctly. Okay, now one of the first things you need to consider when you're obviously thinking about buying or purchasing Prismacolors is uh, how you're going to look after them, how you're going to store them. Uh, basically because they're a wax core, what you don't want to do is to put them in a hot place where the core of the pencil can be damaged due to heat, like from a direct uh, light source, for example, on a window ledge. So uh, the basic advice here is to... Uh, store them in a cool dry place where they're not going to be knocked over where they're not going to be damaged or accidentally dropped uh, and so obviously they be, can uh, be kept in uh, the top quality condition for you to use them because they are quite expensive pencils now when you buy these pencils you will have uh, obviously a full range of colors and what I'm going to focus on today is how to sharpen these pencils and there are a number of ways in which you can do it. You can use the standard uh, conventional pencil sharpener as we have here. You can use a blade. Or you can use a uh, good quality sharpener like we have here. This is the automatic long point uh, pencil sharpener. And uh, they're all also Prismacolors have their own uh, pencil sharpener for color for sharpening these pencils here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is demonstrate three different ways of uh, sharpening these pencils, color pencils, and uh, the best techniques you can use in order to avoid breakage. This is a uh, obviously standard pencil sharpener here, conventional pencil sharpener, metal, with uh, obviously one hole and one blade. And uh, what I'm going to demonstrate here is how to sharpen this. Now, you will notice straight away when we're sharpening with this, the wood is breaking. Okay, this is because basically here, this pencil is made from substandard materials. The wood is breaking away. Now, if you have cheaper color pencils, obviously this is a graphite pencil, but you have cheaper color pencils, you will find, again, that the wood in the pencil will break, which means that the core of the pencil will not be held together as well or protected within that wooden core. Now, another thing to make sure that you're doing when you're sharpening the Prismacolors is keeping this pencil level. What you don't want to do is put it in like this or like this. Again, that will damage the uh, the casing of the uh, color pencil. We need to make sure it goes in straight and you will immediately see the difference here with the quality materials. The, uh, the casing of the uh, pencil sharpener is coming out with one strand here. The, sh the shavings here are coming out straight away and that gives you a pretty good quality finish Okay, for a colour pencil. There's no breakage here at the moment. Now, the, uh, the next technique that I want you to uh, look at today and demonstrate is the automatic long point pencil sharpener here, which is a, uh, an excellent quality pencil sharpener made from good quality solid materials. It has a, a case here for capturing the shavings of the pencil. It doesn't capture that much shavings, but what it does have, and it's a real benefit, obviously, are the uh, the two blades, the two holes, and obviously uh, features here for sharpening mechanical pencils as well, built in in one sharpener. Now, many artists, or graphite artists, and colouring artists, 
tend to obviously like to draw and work with long points. Now, I just want to demonstrate here the shorter tip of the pencil using the basic conventional sharpener and the longer point here, which was created using this pencil sharpener here, the automatic long point pencil sharpener by a company called Com here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just demonstrate how to actually use this correctly. Now again, this is a Prismacolor pencil from this Premier Collection. And what you'll notice here when you're using this pencil sharpener is the uh, it's made from quality materials and what you do here I'll just take that away what you need to notice here is the uh, the core of the pencil now is just coming over the blades which you will just notice here okay when you get to that sort of stage what you do is you take it out and then you go into the second hole here and what you have is a blade that is uh, designed to sharpen the core of the pencil color pencil to a sharp point and obviously what that does for you it gives you those longer points in the pencil here I'll just demonstrate that now it's only darker so you can see it okay so it does give you a longer point which I think is uh, obviously much better for shading with the sides of the pencils and uh, obviously for the tips of the pencils are pretty sharp as well so that enables you to create many many different types of marks with the side of the pencil and the tip of the pencil okay so that is the uh, automatic uh, long point pencil sharpener here which I, I do recommend it's a very good pencil sharpener made from quality materials Right, now the next uh, demonstration I want to show you is uh, how to use a blade to sharpen your pencil. Many artists use this. Now you need to make sure when you're doing this that obviously you're holding the, e the end of the pencil and the blade is facing away from you. It's always best if you are using this to make sure that you're using a sharp craft knife or blade. And what you do obviously is hold the pencil towards the end, fingers away from, never cut towards you, safety first all the time. And again, you can just take away the casing of the pencil to reveal the point at the end. And you do this carefully as you work your way around the pencil. Obviously, I'm using a graphite pencil here to demonstrate this technique. This technique can also be used on color pencils, but obviously, softer color pencils, I wouldn't recommend this technique at all, really. Now, obviously, when you've exposed the core of the pencil, such as this, You can then think about using a piece of sandpaper just to sh sharpen the edge if you need to as well. But again, that gives you quite a long tip for the pencil, but I do not think, obviously, in terms of uh, using a pencil sharpener, it is the, uh, the way to go here. I would uh, really recommend using the automatic long point pencil sharpener to get the best quality uh, sh sharpened pencil to use in your work. This really is uh, 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 the best method to use.